Welcome back, everybody. Time is 724. You're watching BT this Thursday morning. Question, how do you feel about going back to the office? For many people of color, the daily struggle goes beyond the early morning commute, with a recent study revealing that 80%, 80% of black Canadians feel racism has negatively impacted them in the workplace. Here to tell us more is CEO of Gray Matter Health, Marcy Gray, and joining her is lawyer Samantha Peters, who celebrate, or sorry, who created the toolkit called Black Femme Legal to help support and empower black queer workers. Good morning to you both. How are you? Good morning. I'm good, good morning. Dina. Good to see you. Marcy, we're going to start with you. Tell us about this study. Yeah, so we just do, at first need to acknowledge that racism does exist in Canada and is impacting the workforce. Uh, as you said, 80% of Canadians are feeling that they, their relationship with their employer has been negatively impacted. Uh, we're also seeing that Canadians in general are concerned about systemic racism and racial injustice. And so this is setting the stage for 87% of black, uh, black Canadians uh, are thinking that they don't want to return to the workforce. They would rather stay online, and that's because in the workplace they were experiencing racial discrimination, mm -hmm. microaggressions, and they were facing the um, they were facing a lot of the uh, glass ceiling that they felt like they were not getting ahead in the workplace. Mm -hmm. So, Samantha, you've created Black Fem Legal. Tell us about it. What started it? What served as the catalyst? And what types of services do you offer? Yeah. So. Black Femme Legal is a Law Foundation of Ontario funded workplace toolkit for Black queer women, femmes, and gender diverse folks across the 2S LGBTQI plus spectrum in Ontario needing workplace related support. Currently led by myself, which is the Director of Legal Initiatives and Public Interest, Denight, who is the Director of Public Legal Education, and Sharifa, who is the Director of Legal and Legislative Research. So Black Femme Legal was born out of an informal working group of Black queer women, femmes, and gender diverse folks who experienced harm in the workplace, including, but not limited to, anti-Black violence, discrimination, harassment, exploitation, underpayment, hyper-surveillance, and even massage noir, which is a term coined by Moya Bailey over 10 years ago, which is the anti-Black racist misogyny that Black women experience. And as we all use various forms of accountability mechanisms in order to heal, Black Femme Legal seeks to curate all of the resources that have supported us in various ways as a means to support other Black queer women, femmes, and gender diverse folks navigating similar experiences. And so as a result, the purpose of Black Femme Legal is threefold. First, to provide legal education and information. Second, to provide legal referrals and services. And third, to provide non-legal resources and support to Black, 2S, LGBTQI plus workers across Ontario through a Black Femme-centered approach, lens, and praxis. And as a Femme myself, which is a Black queer, which is a queer identity rather, being femme-centered is incredibly important to me. So as a result, much of our team and our advisory committee is made up of Black queer women and femmes. Marcy, I'm gonna leave the last word with you. What change needs to happen? What real action needs to be taken to affect some real change? So first, employers need to make anti-Black racism a priority and go for some quick wins. If you can make online work environments possible for your employees, why not do that as advocacy for some of your Black employees? Also, employers need to just look at opportunities that they can involve racialized employees in the conversation about racism in their workplace. And CEOs having these conversations is not a one-time conversation, but an a co ongoing conversation to look at solutions we also want to just recognize racial trauma and what that is having in it, how that's having an impact, a mental health impact on employees. And by doing that, we can then work with people like me who come into the workplace and help you to work on some of these racial traumas that are happening and psychological health and safety that's um, increasing that and improving that in your workplace. And then lastly, we want to look at senior leadership having some ongoing uh, 
uh, work to do and not just thinking that this is a one-time thing but having some long-term strategies and specific goals and then making some key partnerships in order to improve the situation and having these continuous uncomfortable conversations mm -hmm. whether you're a CEO or frontline staff to continue to have these conversations to work on racial discrimination in the workplace. Marcy, Samantha, thank you so much. Keep doing the great work that you're doing. For everybody watching once again, go to graymatterhealth.com, Instagram at graymatterhealth, or blackfemlegal.com, Instagram at blackfemlegal. Thank you both so much. Amazing work. Thanks, Gina. Thank you so much. Coming up, friends, around 840, we're celebrating National Potato Day, the one and only a hot stud of a spud. <laughs> we're going to peel back the layers, friends. And you know how we're celebrating? With poutine. I personally like them roasted, but whatevs. We're doing a little poutine, okay? That's coming up in a bit.